parallel perpendicular transversal lines. Mental maths. Times tables. 7 times 6 equals 42. 6 times 7 equals 42. Addition. 39 plus 55 equals 94. Subtraction. 13 minus 68 equals negative 55. Division, 24 divided by 8 equals 3. Square numbers, the square of 2 equals 4. Square root of 4 equals 2. The cube of 2 equals 8. And the cube root of 8 equals 2. Decimal addition, again check all your answers with your calculator. 6,79 plus 7,07 7 equals 13,86. Decimal subtraction, 9,27 minus 4 equals 5,27. Decimal multiplication, 0,85. Times 0, 0,25 equals 0, 0,2125. Decimal division, 3,1 divided by 0, 0,2. Multiply both with 10 to get whole numbers. 31 divided by 2 equals 15,5. Fraction addition, 1 over 7 plus 1 over 2. Find the lowest common multiple, 14. 2 over 14 plus 7 over 14 equals 9 over 14. Fraction subtraction, 2 over 3 minus 1 over 4. Find the lowest common multiple, 12. 8 over 12 minus 3 over 12 equals 5 over 12. Fraction multiplication. 6 over 7 times 1 over 2 equals 6 over 14. Now we're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. Equals 3 over 7. And it's now the simplest form. Fraction division. 6 over 7 divided by 1 over 2 equals 6 over 7 times 2 over 1 equals 12 over 7, equals 1 and 5 over 7. Parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines, the perpendicular height between the two lines are identical wherever it's measured. Now look at the blue arrow there. Perpendicular lines, lines that meet or intersect at right angles. All of the lines will have a 90 degrees angle there. Intersecting and transversal lines. An intersecting line is to cross over to each other. Here we have two lines. And it means they are going to cross over. Transversal line is a line that crosses at least two other lines. If we look here, there's the transversal line, the top one. Parallel lines, perpendicular lines, intersecting lines and transversal lines. Where do you find this in real life? If you look at this building, you're going to see many parallel lines. It means the distance between the lines will always be the same. A perpendicular line will always meet at a 90 degrees angle with another line. The intersecting line is just going to cross over with one of the lines. And our transversal lines is going to cross over with one or many lines.